The ANC Ekurileni Elective Conference was set to get underway today. The meeting has been delayed several times, the latest due to allegations of branch exclusions. A current chairperson, Mzwandile Masina, is seeking re-election. He will face off against regional treasurer Dr. Kakaza. Let's uh, bring in political analyst Levi Ndor to discuss this. Thank you so much for your time, Ms. Ndor. We do appreciate it. Uh, many would say another day in the ANC and it's just full of drama and politics. <laughs> they are a political party. Party, but um, it just seems as though they cannot get their conferences to start on time and uh, to be successful. What is your perspective on what is actually going on now with uh, the ANC Ekurileni Regional Conference? Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to the viewers at home. The events unfolding at Ekuruleni uh, are quite unfortunate for the ANC. But they are actually not surprising at all that the ANC would spend a lot of time having to deal with matters relating to credentials and also at the same time having to please or negotiate with certain individuals or branches who feel aggrieved by the processes of the ANC. And of course, this for me talks to the membership uh, uh, challenges within the ANC and membership manipulation by those that are given responsibilities to ensure that the activities and conferences of the ANC have to run smoothly. But in a situation where there is hot contestation and in a situation where the incumbent uh, would have to leave office and new people have to come in, you would actually get this kind of activities happening. But at the same time, one would expect the ANC to be able to do their things better, improve on their membership systems, improve on how they arrange branch, regional, and other uh, uh, gatherings so that they do not face the kind of challenges that they face today. Mm. I want us to perhaps speak about the, the two runners for the chairperson uh, in Ekuruleni and uh, whether or not this is contributing to uh, the current um, uh, delays that we are seeing because clearly they're two different individuals and they're both contesting for the chairperson position. Um, perhaps your perspectives and views on, on these two individuals. It has become difficult for members of the ANC to persuade each other on matters relating to elections and uh, 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 occupying positions within the party. You, one would have expected the ANC to find ways and means in which members of the organization do not contest in a manner that end up compromising the unity of the organization. And the unfortunate part is that factionalized and polarized the ANC as it has become, you would actually always find this kind of situations happening. My view is that if the ANC would love to move united, coherent, and avoiding factions, they should develop ways and means in which they are able to manage successions even before going to conferences through persuasions through negotiations and ensuring that branch leaders are able to talk to each other so that when they they go to conferences there would be a clear agreement amongst members and then at conference they focus on important issues which deals with policies that affect ordinary citizens on the ground. Mm. When we spoke to our senior reporter Sipa Mantlakoge earlier on where he was at the regional conference, he mentioned the fact that there's going to be no um, um, there's going to be no dedicated time to actually deal with issues of uh, policy decision making because they are now dealing with uh, delegates and manipulation of delegate lists and so forth. And again, it goes back to the issue that you briefly mentioned now in your last answer that the ANC wants to portray itself as a united front and that they are one and that they are there to serve the people. But surely if regional conferences, never mind provincial conferences, uh, have such issues, 
is this does not send the picture that they are aiming to send out uh, to people out there. It does not send any good picture for the party at all. Remember, a few weeks ago, there was a, a, a provincial conference of the ANC in the Eastern Cape. They spent more than 30 hours discussing credentials uh, at the conference. And obviously, matters of policy in the Eastern Cape and it at Ekuruleni had to occupy the backseat. Ekuruleni has been led by the ANC for quite some time. And as we speak now, the ANC is no longer in charge of Ekuruleni, and one would be expecting the ANC at the regional level to deal with matters that affect ordinary people on the ground, to discuss issues that relates to how do they develop the strategy to regain power which they've lost in that uh, region. But the unfortunate part is that the ANC has to focus on credentials, on membership, and, and those who are supposed to attend conference. Of course, everybody would love to participate and make a difference in conferences. But whatever parties do are supposed to be regulated. And that is why the ANC leadership should be able to develop strategies to manage matters relating to elections and delegation as they move towards conferences. Okay, great. Thank you so much for your insights. It's also going to be interesting to see um, the implications, especially come elective conference in December. Thank you for always making yourself available. That is political analyst Levy Endol.